Alright, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So, uh... I... Just had this, like, thing that was like... Yeah, there's the exploding barrels room. Just, like, climbed up a ladder over there. I swear it's... Oh. Yeah, no, my eyes were just looking at, at it wrong. Okay. Yeah, I climbed back up that ladder. Went back into this hallway because, like, there's something back in my mind. I was like, wait, was there a passage over here that I just ignored? And, uh, I couldn't help but notice a shadow here. And experimenting, there's something here. Smooth and silky stone. Surprise! I missed something minor! Fuck you. So sick of this shield, guys. You know, I probably could have gone back to the bonfire and taken the shortcut. Oh, hey. Someone who doesn't have a shield. Sucks to be you, bitch. Ah, two shield guys blocking the way forward, huh? Yeah, I feeling the other one would be angry of, over my actions. I'm holding forward right now. Would you like to attack? God, I can't wait to get a shield with a hundred physical. Uh... I mean, the bonfire is right here. This guy doesn't seem very reactive. Yeah, let's go... Use the bonfire before going down there. And let's see here. Now something I did, re I do remember from like, trying to figure or something some mechanics out, like last time I played, is that... that some NPCs require you to summon them for boss fights to progress their stories. So I'm gonna be... I'm gonna try summoning an NPC here. Okay, there's two NPCs. Sorry, you hit me how many times there? Do I not have any better shields? Okay, here's a 90. That would be a much welcome improvement. Also, why do I have this equipped? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. That's locked, so that's probably going to be a shortcut later. I've got plenty of life gems. Let's get Mild Manor Paint. And Cell Sword Louette.
Uh. Celsor the Wet is gesturing to me. He's <laughs> he's got two great shields. Nice. Look, man, cutscene. Good time to drink my hot chocolate. Honestly, why did I think of going with a double great shield build? So is there any like environmental interactions in this room? No? Okay. Come on, swap to the other leg. He's stomping with the left, so obviously I should be hitting the right. Yeah, dang it. There's a not stomp attack. Oh, he tore out his arm. Too bad I couldn't see that very much because I'm locked onto his ankle. Ow. Definitely healing after that one. I don't know what tearing out his arm did for him. Just, it seems like he's not being more effective than just sweeping his hand around normally. Yeah, I think, I think how I learned NPCs need to be summoned is I think Pate needs to be summoned here. Yeah, so the last giant and soldier key. Is soldier key go to this door? No. It's not appear to be anything below the elevator. You're still asleep, but you're not. I think it can open this door, yeah, but that's a side area. Ah, uh, surprise. I'm honestly surprised none of my swings bonked there. Yeah, I think where I'm actually supposed to go is... I need to go back up this way. Which means these two are going to be an ambush now. Ah, damn it. Ah. God damn, I do just get very stun locked in this game. Okay, that deals with one. And that deals with two.
probably shouldn't be running around with boss souls, but oh well. Yep, soldier key does go there. This does go upstairs. Uh, oh! Um. Hi there, sir. That's a fancy looking sword. Is that Flamberge? I like Flamberges. Oh, there's two of you! I didn't ask for a party. See, this is where Magic Missile would be nice. Sorry. It's not called Magic Missile. What the fuck just died? Oh. You know, probably should have thought about the fact that they're small enough that I inter my attacks would definitely be able to interrupt them. But you never know with Dark Souls. In fact, I probably could have paid attention to, like, my first hit where I would have interrupted them. God, there's messages everywhere. Uh, illusion ahead, therefore pointless. What? There's a message up there? Try left. Thanks. Oh, fuck, I do not like that room. What is my brain thinking right now? I don't... Oh. Yeah, this is the other rubble path. For, so, for some reason, my brain was trying to tell me that I, like, walked by two of these hallways ending in rubble. No, that wasn't a hallway. There was two rubble, but not two hallway. God... Damn that, that attack. It really is just like contact damage mode. Try jump attack and then hurrah for victory. Jump attack against what? There's nothing here. Oh boy. Now, you know, if I wanted extra humanity, I guess I could have just... I guess I could have just, like, put down a summon sign and fight a boss with someone. But yeah, I'm out of Estus. And would like to level up. So yeah, we've seen the boss chamber. We've seen where the boss chamber is. There's still that other path to go through. So let's go back to Majula and see about getting myself some sorcery. There we go. Vitality is equip load. Is there anything that's a big boost to HP? No. Everything boosts HP the same, so that's going to be constantly rising. That's good to know. Oh. It wasn't adaptability, was it? One of these stats gives you more iframes on your dodge roll. 
that would also be nice to have. Be nice to have any iframes on the dodge roll. Oh, attunement also affects cast speed in this game. That's nice. Definitely better than Dex. Adaptability. I think I'm going to get a couple points in vitality since equip loads typically like a major brick wall for me in Souls games. So let's just start working on that a bit. Okay, attune spells. I forgot I had great soul arrow. But yeah, let's get soul arrow on here. Hmm, if I start off with as a sorcerer, I could have had two soul arrows. Oh well. Maybe soul arrow is a low level spell. I'll probably find more. Uh, what's cheap for me? I don't know. I don't know what she's trying to sell me right now. Lively talk. Wait. Nah, I don't think I like got close enough to making that to be possible. Oh, pretty sure. Yeah, you need to be running for a bit before you can jump. So you can't jump off that wall. Oh god, I'm pretty sure. Entering the mansion as a world state change. I do have the key for it. Whoops, over there, but... There. Now if I want to swap to whip, it gets to be extra dangerous. But extra reward... Per day. Sleepy cat. I don't know what I'm spending the camera for. Just really wanted to show off Sleepy Kitty, huh? Uh. You know what? Before I charge into the mansion, let's actually confirm that it is or isn't a world change. Okay. So I was full of shit. The mansion is not a world state change. I can just go in. I also decided to take a moment to look around at, like, look at whip durabilities. And... I have the page still up. I've found my blanking. 
Okay, so, uh... My old whip has, like, a massive power advantage over the rest of the whips. But, it has the lowest durability of 40. Well, other whips have, like, 50 or 60 durability. Doesn't sound like much of an increase, considering how fast those things have been breaking. But the Fire Longsword has a durability of 60, and that hasn't been going down nearly as fast. So it's quite clear I'm using whips wrong, and I don't know how to use them correctly. I mean, I guess there's always Google. Okay, so whips lose durability. Oh wait, no, old whip loses durability very quickly if used against enemies with a large degree of armor. That's why it broke so fucking fast against the pursuer. Is that like hold true with others whips? Is that something I just need to worry about? Probably should be pausing the video again to actually like look at this. Okay, no, it doesn't mention anything else on another whip page, so that's just the old whip thing that it loses durability extra fast when attacking armored enemies. That's good to know. Try right. What, for the Pharaoh's Lockstone? Yeah! There you go, I have a rating. It's just someone genuinely trying to be helpful. Beast ahead! What, down here? Okay, so Kale hasn't arrived yet. Can I go upstairs? Praise the sun! But uh, using Dark Souls 2's messages, that doesn't include Praise the Sun. Clearly, that's why it's the worst. Oh, nope, there's Praise the Sun. Gorgeous view ahead. Wow. I'd have to take off my Chlorothy ring to, if we wanted, like, to stop. And tie UI. And I shard torch. Can't take this. What? Sound like those pigs aggroed and were gonna come after me, but so I should probably check on that. Because I do not want them sneaking up on me. Those things are awful. Yep, there they are. I guess they leashed. Goodbye. We 
What do you have to say? Don't give up, skeleton! Yeah, this thing sucks! But wait! It's not armored! Why am I attacking that way? There we go. You gonna have to, let's not have two whips equipped at once. Okay. I remember that skeleton being very dangerous. And you know, all the blood pools around here supports that idea. That's the splash shard, nice. Vision of light, vision of fire. Not here, therefore keep moving. Chest ahead. Why is there a blood pool here? There's a blood. St there we go. Touch blood stain. I guess that was to the skeleton. Oh, that wasn't a door. I guess that's it. I, I'll go ahead and light that torch. See if I get anything out of it. Uh, any fire sources upstairs? No. Okay, I guess I have to bring Torch all the way from the bonfire. No pigs, that's good. Pigs aren't guarding a Torch, are they? That's not something I would have paid attention to. God, that pit is positioned just right so that if you're not paying attention, run a straight line from the bonfire to the doorway, you will fall in. <laughs> like, I was just kind of thinking about that on the way over. It's like, I'm not gonna... If I zone out, will I just fall in? Wow, I did it. How do I... Oh, wait, that hand. There we go. I lit the torch on fire. Aren't I amazing? Oh! Hi! Of course. Take a good look. Oh, there's a fire there. It's just kind of looks like being map. Just kind of looks like meaningless smudges to me, though. I don't know what to make of this. Even more flames have appeared. A flame has appeared. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what explains it. But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious, deep within the soul. Something essential. I would not venture far into that hole. It was blocked by a wall, something built long ago. But it was crumbling, and I finished the job. Now a foul sound echoes with you. You mean the skeleton I already killed? 
Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't the Oh, you're looping. But uh, it's something. But wait, but I had to light the torch to make you appear. What? I would not. It was Okay, game. I do not see a torch back there. Just evil little shits. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a heal. Go back to progress, I guess. Well, progress, sort of. Could be going through that side area. Okay, you're the halberd that was angry at me before. Figured as much. Actually, no. I figured that guy was angry. I f forgot there was someone just already active on the bridge. Okay, so you get up if I go this way, but not the other way. I should probably light the torches in this area. Because I think something happens if you actually light the torches down there. Right, I think it stops the skeletons from reviving. There's going to be some nasty skeletons on this path. Good thing the torch doesn't burn on the ladder, but magically relights. Oh, it's once we get down here. So do I go for the next torch, or do I try to clear a path? I go for the next torch, okay. Yep, and here's the next NPC summon sign. Hello, Skella boy. Oh, you had one more attack, but it was too slow. Nope, that's not an iron drop. Okay, there's the next torch. You know, you're right in front of my face. Let's get rid of you first. Come on! Unlock on. Just swap targets. Oh god, I was that low on health? Shit! I didn't think I took that many hits. Well, there's another humanity gone.
I should... I definitely should just be lighting torches as I come across them. That would make my life so much easier than... than this bullshit I'm doing. Did your AI shut down? Come on, god damn it, you really get locked into every animation. Oh yeah, something I saw while like looking at Whip Durbo is like like, by the way, the fact that the game's built to run at 30 FPS, but the PC port runs at 60, means a lot of actions happen twice. Ace. Which makes durability go down twice as fast sometimes. So, uh, that's pr... Hey, stupid. It's another case of God damn it, Dark Soul devs, why? Or at least Dark Soul porters, why? Why do you insist on making these games run at 60 when they can't? If I remember correctly, this house is full of turtle knights. They suck. Beware of tough enemy up! Oh joy! I do have... Yeah, I do have sorcery. That, that would make this so much easier. There we go. Now that guy can't launch arrows at me while I try to do the tough fight upstairs. Now do I take the ladder inside or outside? I don't remember which was the bad one. Apparently outside because that guy aggroes from that far away. Hmm, that did nothing. Come on. God damn it, I even. I actually did get the roll, but he just falls over too fast. There's not much. much room to fight him here. Like. God. Walls on. Wall behind and to, to one side, and a cliff on the other. Like, this is not ideal fighting in Turtle Knight condition. And yes, I see you, you bastard. Ah. Uh, Apparently, you are an idiot. Huh, I thought those guys... I thought the turtle knights on the roof would jump down if I walked past the house. Visions of ore, but equipment breakage. Death ahead. Dead end? Yeah, I do know there's a bonfire in that direction, but there's also an invader.